Welcome back everyone to the gameplay. First off, for everybody who does not know, I had to record this game about maybe two or three more times. Had to update my computer. Had to do some events that I had to redo. So everything you're going to see right now, uh, we already passed most of the stuff I'll just tell you. <coughs> already turned the season. Grandma passed away. It was beautiful. Well, not beautiful. It was sad. It was, you know, emotional. They were met the two new people. Uh, you will see them if they show up again. And we got a barn. And you'll see what I've done so far in my workshop today. So as of right now, it is 8 a.m. Originally, it was like 7.20 before I started the game again. This is what my setup is looking like. And I've been doing good so far. Done, found some stuff, built some stuff, made potions. Like, you can go to other people's gameplay and find out what happened because I, I refuse to do all that stuff again. So now I'm in a, I'm in a mood to. Made some new plot, and I got some strawberries. So there's a mission for strawberries. There's a mission for um, corn. So basically, Thomas is teaching me how to farm um, more ways than one. And so far, I've been doing great. The first ones were cotton, and I have nothing against cotton. They are very comfortable in my skin and no history. But I don't let that be the reason. So now we're gonna go to Thomas and give him the cotton. Oh, and I got a new axe. A uh, new pickaxe. Well, I think y'all knew about a new pickaxe. But yeah, and I've been talking to people to get their hearts up. So, Thomas is the one making the bonfire for the summer festival, huh? I hope he studied the correct fuel placement. You mess that up, and we'll get sad smolder instead of roaring flames. That's true, and they're over the festival that will be going on. Him and Sophie? Sophia? Yeah. Both of them are going to be in on the festival, and I guess I don't see Thomas. No, he's not here, so maybe he's at the beach. I've been catching him by the beach lately. Oh, and there are three new people, my bad, because there's a, um, I think a meteorologist. She's nice. She lives up there where, there you are. She lives where there's a lot of, where the clouds used to be. Well, I thought it was a magical place, but it wasn't. I picked the cotton. I should have, ow, worn gloves. Yep. The ends of the bowls are sharp. You could have, I don't know, mentioned that? Didn't want to insult your intelligence by presuming you didn't know better. No, don't worry. In the future, presume away. You need to build a loom to make cotton cloth. It will take some wood, but you've got plenty on your land. Right. So, build a loom? That's all you need. Then you can make cloth on it. Come see me when that's done. I've been catching a lot of fish lately, but it's been typical trying to find a lot of octopus, so now I can just go purchase them, I believe. But now here comes another problem. Um, I forgot how do I get ink from the octopus. So now we're going to see the barn animals, and I named one the animal Hazel. This is no insult, but Hazel is... A cow. What did I name her sheep? I forgot in one of the gameplays I tried to success yeah. I tried to successfully pull up post but it didn't work, so maybe cow is better. But anyway, the new neighbor um, is over the barn. I was hoping to show you guys him, but you can always look at somebody else's gameplay for that. So now I already did a enough um 
potion for the um how about to call them, but it's um the cover. So I'm up to date. They haven't they haven't have to they didn't have to send a letter that I'm not doing my specific duties. Uh, I haven't been in trouble lately. Yeah, and everything's just been running smoothly now that I had to do some changes. Um, I just remember doing this all over again and starting to feel like I have nostalgic uh, feels to it, but also a little amnesia. So we'll tend to the corn, the cotton, the cotton um, thing a little bit later. Because I want to see what's going on in the city now. Town, really. Not even a city. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, after Grandma Hazel passed away, like everybody started having more mission to ask of me. And right now the children want lemonade stand. Gave him his potatoes. He's not there. Kai's not there. He's Do here. you remember? Going fishing for trout in the summers with your grandpappy and me? Not really. <laughs> well, you did sleep through most of it. Those were real pleasant afternoons. Robert and me running our mouths and you snoring at our feet. Hmm. So yeah, now I can purchase the octopus. First I need to see who needed something I need to get some honey. I can grow that on the farm. Need more wood, more than anything. Lemon. Oh, I plant a lemon tree. Got the lemon tree from Kai. Wait on the strawberries. The summer festival. Trying to do this freeze time incantation, but again, ink. So now the mission is just getting more trees. The new addition to the island. Say, the wild farm's on a gorgeous plot of land. How long has it been in the family? Oh, we've had it for, uh... Huh. I'm just realizing I don't know. Long story, but there was a family falling out. I'm still learning a ton about this place. Oh, well, that farmhouse is a stunner. Great bones. Thanks. Eh, kind of weird, kind of weird. Did Hazel ever tell you that she met Robert at the summer festival? The teenagers used to challenge each other to jump over the bonfire, you see? Robert waited until it was stacked really high, and then he took the biggest leap. And he cleared it? No. His pants caught fire, and Hazel dumped her lemonade on him to put it out. <laughs> ah, it was the beginning of a great love story. <laughs> well, it's not time, but it's slowly getting there. But yeah, we're already in summer. And I had to look back at my gameplay that before I got caught up, I had to throw it away. I'm like, there was no way I can get Grandma out of that bed just to show her a barn. And to trigger another event such as changing the season, once you change the season, She's pretty much gone. That's still always delightful to see. Oh, he needs honey. Can you really see the future? Yup. For example, you're about to ask another full question. I... Uh... Never mind. Hmm. You got that incantation written? No, I'm still gathering supplies. Well, don't take too long. I'm not getting any younger. Which makes me wonder, do I know who that is already? We should update the coven offerings from just milk and honey, you know? It's just not very 21st century. Maybe we should try offering hoverboards or a gamer chair. I think I already know who you are. 
that was just too straightforward. Hello. So, I hear you're the one who welcomed the meteorologist to town, Tara. Yeah, Otto Mullen forced me for the job. But Giva seems nice, so I didn't mind. She may be nice, but her presence here could be dangerous. She came here to look into Fairhaven's weather patterns. We caused those weather patterns. Uh oh. She did ask if I knew anything that would explain the weather anomalies. That's exactly what I'm worried about. If she's a competent meteorologist, she'll dig far enough into the island's weather that she just might find us at the center. We should all keep an eye on her discoveries. Oh wait, no, no. I, I don't think that's what Grandma would have wanted. Didn't she warn us against this exact attitude? Even if Giva does uncover something that points to us, that isn't necessarily bad. Maybe she's trustworthy. I wish I agreed with you, but as witches, we can never be too careful. We're not only responsible for our own safety, but the safety of the entire island, even the parts beyond the veil. Hmm. It took me ages to get this far in the coven, but don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. Nice. No. Did you know that women healers were burned for being witches for centuries, even when many of them weren't witches? Strange. A woman who can heal terrifies people. I try not to think too much about what that means. Oh, I think I know who you are now. I know who you are right now. You? I know who you are. I still don't know who you are. I know who you are, and I'm guessing I know exactly who you are. So I think we got down members, except that last one. And now as I can find out how to make that ink again, then we'll be just fine. Hey Tara, thought I might see you here more often now that it's summer. Working out in the hot sun would make anyone thirsty. Got some cold brews on tap calling your name. Let's see what you got. Nah. Thanks so. though. What's up? I seem distracted. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Just looking at flights to Japan. You're planning a visit? Take me! Not actively planning. I just haven't been back in ten years. Wouldn't mind seeing all my cousins again. True, true, true. time to get back home. Home, home, home. Shouldn't y'all be in the barn? Or are we still promoting healthy living for animals too, which I truly encourage. Uh, you gotta let them live in a better environment to have better tasting meat. Just sticking them into some place to be collected. It's just not sanitary plus there are too many openings for cross exam cross examination cross contamination. Horns are ready. Okay. Not even close the lemon tree, however. Almost ready. Oh, and they fi we're finally to where family where I'm with the cat. No name, but you know. So I put it here. Oh, I forgot about the cheese. Forgot about the cheese. Put you right there. Now let's see what we can do. 
Let me get in there. Oh, we need two. Yeah, that's enough. Oh no, it's such a shame when it might have to be expanded. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, we're gonna go to Thomas. Oh wait, you guys should see the meteorologist if she's not in town. But yeah, this there was a breathtaking view up here. I was so excited that now I can just go up here. Look at all this. All of it. And one of the videos that did not make it, I said something about I didn't want to dig up something that probably was a burial ground or something. But I'm not sure what I'll find. So maybe down the road I might. I might. If I need to, I might. Like, this is a nice hot spring. Like, if it's allowed, that'd be so cool. Look a little squirrel. I mean, like Groomy. And just this nice waterfall. Um, I don't remember if I can fish here. I think I can. Well, all this up here, if you're looking at trees and rocks and mountains. Well, the rock is missing, but mountains, rock, mountains made of rocks. Something like that. Yeah, this is where she lives. And this is a she. Give us inclement weather. I guess that means good. I guess. Some fish here. Let me have a fish we get. Oh, and our life expanded too. My like after Hazel passed away, they give us a life. Expansion thing. Incantation. Chub. And now we'll get some summons. I did it! I wove my own cloth. Well then, you're good to go. I sell mine to Kai. He'll take any dyed cloth you make, too. If you want to make your own dyes and dye the cloth, you'll need a dyeing bath. Here is a blueprint for a dyeing bath to dye the cloth and recipes for the dyes themselves. The dyes can be made by crushing up the ingredients in a mortar and pestle. I guess you can have a couple of my dyes, too. Thomas, <laughs> thank you for all of this help. I really appreciate it. I know. Like I said, I promised your grandma I'd pitch in, and I will. Ooh. Here's the corn for Sophia, Thomas. Thanks. She's a single mom, running her business all on her own. She deserves all the help she can get. Uh-huh. Don't know why you've got that goofy grin on your face. Just a friend helping a friend. Why, she say anything? It's not about what she says, Thomas. It's about... Okay, okay. Don't need advice from you. Anyhow, come see Dang. me on festival day. Sure. Why? Just do it. <laughs> this dude. I left my best spade outside in the rain last week. Rookie mistake. Leads to rust. But when I went to get it, the thing was propped up outside my door. Dry as a bone. Oddest thing. I'm not saying anything. I find that nice, whoever did it. Oh, letter. Oh, no. 
will you come by my shop when you have a free moment? I have I have some really exciting news and could use your help. Tara. Okay. I never remember who the heck Tara is. Oh, Clay. Cool. There you go. Okay. Don't have enough for that. Uh... I'm actually supposed to be going to work tomorrow. I actually had a good day today. Uh, for break. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're starting a new job, yeah, as a trainee, it's gonna hurt a little bit. If you're like me and I've been at home for so long and I haven't been out, oh, so that's how we do eat. What the heck? I thought I needed an octopus. Anyway, but now that we can do that, make this incantation, and boop, then we're done. Oh yeah, work. I've been working there for about, maybe, it's a training week don't count, it don't count. They first started me on the first week, that was like my first week of pay, second week, was third week, and now my fourth week, fourth week is coming up. And honestly, through prayers and through help, I managed to keep working there. And I see myself continuing to work there too. Yeah, the economy is getting bad and you require two jobs. But as of right now, I can't even do two jobs right now. At least not physically. I barely made it through with the first one. So. We'll just. I'll just do my best. Would I still need to figure out each witch's identity if I had grown up in Fairhaven? No. We'd have a better sense of your trustworthiness. You've been a welcome addition to the coven thus far, but it hasn't been a full season since you began coming here. Do I give you the incantation? There's you got that. that incantation written? Yes. Yes, and I'll bring it to you soon. Take your time. <laughs> but I did. I did. Give the free time incantation to the far seer during the daytime. Dang it! I forgot about that. So now I gotta rush home. Just gonna whip something up real quick. No, we're not. Almost. Just me strawberries. Almost got everything. Am I ready for early. bed? Yes, you are. Hmm. <laughs> I work Saturday. <sighs> so it's rainy, so I don't have to water any plants. So now let's go see Tara. Then find a person who the incantation belongs to. There's gotta be a medicine lady. Not you. Lena. I will talk. The teenagers don't still jump over the bonfire at the summer festival, do they? No. I mean, Sebastian keeps threatening to build a skate ramp and do a flying trick over it. But I'm pretty sure Violet would confiscate his skateboard before he could. Cool. So it's not you. That much I remember. Um, <clears throat> but I do need more flowers for the honey, so. Wait, do I get flowers from you? No, I don't. No, I don't. What do I need from you, though? 
No, I think I need sugar for me. I need sugar. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if it's you. Last year, the Fairhaven Summer Festival was included on the list of the best summer activities in the region. Of course, we were at the bottom of the list, but maybe now that you're here, we'll be at the top. I'm going to. Am see I about sure you. this is the Farseer Witch? I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. Mm. Thanks. The school ran low on paper at the end of last semester. Is there something already written on it, though? I thought... Uh, no, it's it's blank. I'm seeing things. Oops. That mm -hmm. is not the Farseer Witch. I'll have to try someone else. Dang it, so you have to be medicine. Medicine lady. Gotta be you. Dang it, not you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. I always am, of course. But I could really use your help. My clinic is out of cotton. Again. Any chance you're growing any cotton on your farm? Four bunches should keep me stocked up. Sure, but it might take me a few days. Ugh, thanks. Already do you have the cotton yet? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I can let the kids have their bikes and skateboards back now. Wait, you actually did confiscate them? They listened to you? People always do what I tell them to do. Is that strange? Anyway, here's something for your efforts. Thanks. Thank you. I was delighted to learn there is a summer festival in Fairhaven when I first moved here. There's one back home called Tiergran, the Festival of Rain. My family didn't really observe it, but my friend's family did. Her mom made the most amazing saffron rice pudding every year. Cool. Are you it? Hi, Tara. Oh, hi, Sophia. I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, it's fine. I oh, her name come is here I'm, I'm whenever I want to tell Giacomo what's been going on with me, with Juliet. Tell me. Do you believe the dead can hear us? Yeah. I don't know. But one time I heard Grandma talking to Grandpa. It seemed to make her miss him less. Robert was a good man. People here really respected him. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go visit my Grandpa. Of course. Nice seeing you, Tara. I think you knew I knew where Grandpa was. That's Hazel. Are they buried next to each other? Out of respect. I met Wesley, Grandma. He gave me your journal. I'll keep it safe, I promise. I miss you. Tara, guess what? I just got approved for a small business loan. I can finally open up my boutique. Oh, congrats, Violet. I could totally use a wardrobe update. I feel like I always wear the same old thing. I'm gonna make this space a place for all your floral and fashion needs. Any chance you're growing some cotton on your farm? I need some cloth to get started. Say no more? Garden plots can be spared in the name of fashion. Ooh, fabulous! Ooh, I can't wait to show you my new designs. And our mission to make clothes is a yes. Um, 
Sorry for thinking that you were the reason for my ink. Um, octopus should not be you for manual labor that way. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is very special. You're clearly a woman of many talents. Thanks. Do you have a great tree? Or a great plant? That's all I need to know. Sadly, that's what I need. <sighs> what can I sell him? Oh. Dang, I've been out of, I've been out of a lot of stuff. I can sell him dye cloth and candles. So that mean I need to start making some candles. Hmm. Dang it. When I was a teenager, I hated summer because my mom made me shave my legs and wear summer dresses. Now I don't have to do either of those. It's not like anyone here cares. Right on, girl, right on. But I have cotton, but does Thomas give more? I'll ask him, see if I can buy some from him. Don't you run from me. Yeah, I can buy. That's it? No, I know vegetarian. I'm going to need a lot. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe that's enough. Yeah. You know what's worse than getting your socks soaked out in the fields? What? It was an honest question. I can't think of anything worse. <laughs> okay. So now that we have more cotton, you need to see about those strawberries though. Cause uh, dang it, what's his name? Cakery dude, cakery dude. He uh wants some strawberries. Strawberries. Just gotta rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Oh yeah, cotton, cotton, cotton. And it's raining, so I don't have to water them. But I do need more flour. God dang it! Wait a minute. Let me check. Let me check. Violet. When does she work? Uh, what's your hours? You close Sunday, and I think it's Saturday. 5 p.m. I mean, it already passed. I gotta catch her Tuesday. I guess I can make it as many as I want. To the far seer, but I honestly don't know who the far seer is. That's the tricky part. But while I'm here, make some cloth. Dang it. Okay. Died bath. I need six of those. Okay. Everything about to close soon, so I don't want to have time. Are you no, sure you this is the Farseer Witch? No. I'll have to make another incantation and explain myself if I'm wrong. <sighs> nah. That bookseller. Talk. He was really close with Grandma, huh? I think so, yeah. But not like that. Ew! Ew! 
Ew! Hey, if they were close like that, good for Hazel. For real. And she vanished. Then that means I know she's there. And I'm out of incantation. I oh, always get it. so excited for the summer festival. Ukrainians have cupola night, which is pretty similar. My neighborhood in the city was mostly Ukrainian. Every summer we did a dollar store version of cupola night in someone's backyard fire pit. Who doesn't like hanging out around a big fire? Uh, some who have never had the caveman experience. Except we don't go crazy, so not me. Dang it, now I gotta go make some more incantation. Great. I thought the far seer with the fisher dude. Whatever. This is gonna be a doozy. So this is gonna be one of the missions, whether I complete it or not. I started to notice when I cut too many trees, they don't grow as fast. But I like that this one's growing back faster, so if I don't cut them, they grow faster. I gotta make more paper. I know wine would maintain the stamina, but that's not what I want. Oh boy. How do I fix this? I gotta go buy that wine. I don't remember how I don't I don't think I knew how to replenish the mana. Give them to what the face? <laughs> what the face? Uh, what's his name? I can afford to do more cotton, but I really, really need more flowers. So I'm gonna go get those. Hold up. Who's in shock? He's closed Sunday. seeing much of her for real though. Just make sure I check around for her. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday to Saturday and Sunday for her. Out of all the ranchers Otto could have handpicked to move into the ranch, he chose Marty? I asked if his animal husbandry program had any classes on sustainable ranching, and he said, I'll make things sustainable one day, once I get this place off the ground. We all know what one day means, Marty Emerson. True. Leave we're on the same page. Ah, just the miner I was hoping to see. Have you struck silver in them dar hills yet? You know it's not hills, right? Uh, of course. Sure. <laughs> Mostly. Look. 
I love working with precious metals, but I have no idea how to extract them. And I need some silver for our wedding bands. If you dig up some raw ore, Natalia can turn it into an ingot that I can work with. Let's see what I can find. You and Angus deserve the most beautiful rings. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was his request within the old game that I tried to post. Hopefully, again, that I can post this one with minor troubles. Why Parker told there? me you're the one to thank for the bridge to the mountain pass being open again. Thanks so much. Oh, it was nothing. Ah, the hot springs are so restorative. You I know, I used to go to the onsen all the time with my grandma when we would go visit her in Japan. Well, until I turned 11 or so, then I just felt out of place. Oh, it'd be so nice to have an onsen here with private stalls so everyone can take in the waters while feeling safe and comfortable. We just need some wood. And stones. You need my help to build the onsen, Kim? Only if it's no trouble. Hmm. Trust me, it won't. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things here. Problem is, I have no mana, and with no mana, I can't make incantation, so the incantation is on the back burner. He goes on Sunday, so I, I can't do anything about mana. So, we're going into the mine, I guess. Waste our energy and mites. At this point, this is your favorite spot. <sighs> On the dating apps, I keep matching with guys from Milkwater. But when I say I live in Fairhaven, they stop messaging me. Come on, the fairy's not so bad. Sometimes the captain lets you toot the horn. <laughs> this is new. Hello again. Oh, as I live and breathe, I, I forgot you might be here. <laughs> you again? I saw you before. What's your name? Do you live in Fairhaven? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I don't think I'm supposed to tell you that yet. What do you mean? I think... I think... I think I better go. Awful sorry, Tara. How does she hmm. appear and disappear like that? Also, how does she know my name? Yeah, I thought that was a boy. That's why I just can't tell with creatures like them. Cool. Beans like them. I can't tell. So nowadays I'm just gonna stop guessing because I always get discouraged. So I get along. I'll achieve one of the object, object, objectives. Here are your strawberries, Angus. Ah, aren't you sweet? <laughs> you see what I did there? If you want a piece of the shortcake, just come by Town Square during the festival. Nice. It's great that Thomas is helping out with the summer festival snacks this year. He usually grumbles anytime someone brings up the summer festival. I wonder what made him change his mind. Sophia. Sophia! There's never a reason to come over here, but why is it an option anyway? Oh, Thomas, your basket is always such a classic single man's shopping list. Mac and cheese, yep. A peanut butter, instant noodles. <laughs> it reminds me of Parker's pantry when we were first dating. He was stunned the first time I cooked him a real meal. <laughs> well? Parker is certainly a lucky guy. Um, you should go by. You should go by the diner. My grandma taught me some recipes. 
teach him to cook, Nina. You no, know, third one means I'm pushing them together knowing she's married. And that's not good. That's one of her issues and stuff. Well, thanks. Um, I mean, I like Thomas. I like Thomas. You know, I'm a little older. A little older. But he does like those fingers, so I'll respect it. Oh, well. well hey, I'm single on. too. I would still be living on tea if my grandma hadn't taught me some recipes. <laughs> she was a clever woman, your grandma. She taught me a corn casserole recipe that I still make sometimes. All right. Well, ladies, I need to get back to my farm. I worry about him, living on that farm all by himself. He must get lonely. He's never had a long-term relationship? A uh, few, but they flamed out years ago. And there was us. But that was back in high school. I think Thomas just struggles to get close to people, even if he likes them. Is this the kind of silver you need? Oh, Tara, this is perfect. I can't thank you enough. Just give me first look at the rings when you're done. They're going to be stunning. By the way, have you ever heard of uh, creatures in the mine with pink hair and, and gray skin? Honey, you must have grabbed this silver off a of gas fence or something. <laughs> yeah, that was probably it. Here, this is for you. Thanks so much. Ah, Summer. The time when I haul out my military-grade sunscreen. Angus makes fun of me, but look, the most important part of skincare is protecting your skin from the sun. No offense to Angus, but he looks like he might need military-grade sunscreen too. Right? I don't want to say I told you so when my beloved gets a melanoma, but I have told him so. Every year. Vanessa was in charge of the summer festival last year. It was very... classy and understated. That sounds... festive? <laughs> Not at all. At least it rained and we didn't have to feel guilty about leaving early.
Oops, that is not the Farseer Witch. Oops, that is not the Farseer Witch. Oops. Oops. I need all the blank- Oops. Do you have any family back in the city, Marty? Not anymore. I used to work with my dad, but he moved. We're, uh, we're not really in touch these days. I'm really sorry. That was how it was for Hazel and my dad for a long time. This isn't really my favorite, but hey, I can always add it to the slop. So thanks! Ah, oh, there you are. I heard you might have a loom in your barn. I might? What do you need? The silk parachutes I packed for my radio sons got destroyed by a bunch of bloody moths. I've got plenty of helium for my balloons, but no way to get the hygrometer safely back to land. I understood, like, half the words in that sentence. Can you make me some silk fabric? I met a merchant who said he sets up a stolen town with items from Off Island. Maybe he has some silk thread? Oh, you mean Kai. He might have that. Oh, so you'll help me. Oh, thank you so much. So, I played the mayor's getting to know you game. It was quite a challenge. Did you know there's a fellow who lives by himself in the woods? Yep, that's Shelby. I'm sure there's a story there. How practical! Gathering that on an empty stomach means disaster. Do you have the materials for the onsen yet? Yep, here you go. Great, I'll get to work on it right away. Once it's done, I'm gonna put a tip jar outside so everyone can contribute to its maintenance. And I think it's best if we all stick to one visit per day so that everyone can have a chance to enjoy the onsen. Those are great ideas. I can't wait to try this onsen out. <laughs> I was hoping you might have something that the new meteorologist needs. Oh, right. I met her. She's, like, really into tea. Uh-huh. Do you have any silk thread? Ah, uh, I've got something better. Silk worms. Ew. Nah, they're dope. You just gotta feed them mulberry leaves every day, and on day 10, ta-da, my friend! <laughs> totally organic silk. But you gotta build these little buddies a box first. Then they'll be like, uh, totally chill. Okay. 